Good morning, folks. Hopefully you caught last night's top science news update for the month, and while making it, I was watching our son begin to stretch and open his eyes. Let's go to spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours on our star, and the lack of bright flashes and ejecta may belie what's actually underway. Bright regions easily dominate visible features on the north incoming, and so let's go find the X-ray flux, nudging upward as the new active regions begin to fire small solar flares. The majority have come from the limb, but... A careful eye will have seen a bright area pop up and begin to grow through the latter half of the 24-hour run near the center of our star. While the developed spots are still at the limb, with more just out of view, towards center disk and onto the departing hemisphere, we see a small group that is growing in a latitude spread with beta polarity. Flaring from this or other groups today will result in alerts coming through the app. Eyes open. Solar wind intensified overnight. That coronal hole stream from the now-departed opening took a minor swipe at our planet, but not yet blowing at 500 kilometers per second, so it is weak. We come now to focus on the Earth-facing coronal hole system today, definitely a northern opening extension, and we are connecting magnetically. Let's go to the alert map where hurricane-force winds tore through Siberia, bus stations were knocked over, the sandstorm was epic, and these views from the major highway in the region show just what it would have been like in the mix of it all. Looking ahead, we find that if that low develops this week in the Gulf, heavy rain will hit the coastline by the weekend, and when the models run all the way through next Thursday, we still don't see a break from that rain, or any signal that it's about to stop soon. On a much closer timeline, we're seeing another cyclone pop up in the northwest Indian Ocean, this one heading for the Oman-Yemen border and is going to be a major rainmaker for that region as well. They're not used to getting hit with storms like that. Quick news review, amazing citizen scientist compilation of infrared and UV filters at Enceladus. Tons of craters, but with the ice features scarring every single one of them. It is so obvious that internal activity similar to geologic on Earth is occurring there too. The rainfall measurement missions are key long-term hydrology data services on a global scale, but their ability to focus in on one region during heavy events is impressive as well. Article linked for you below. Finally, a brand new space weather network for South America. This was the most in-need continent based on coverage, and that's before you even consider that the South Atlantic anomaly there is getting worse and shifting westward to more fully sit atop the landmass. Their first scientific result is out as well. They discovered a new layer to the ionosphere, F4. We've got your wind maps. Null school and shots of our star to close. Major storms appear to be yet a few days more away as we saw earlier, and don't forget about last night's recap video too. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.20 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.